Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. Today, Bill Maher. Bill Maher pretty much takes a bit dump on Stan Lee's legacy. I was kind of reluctant to talk about this, but I figured I need to give my opinion on this. Now, as we're all aware, last week, Stan Lee, who created most of the uh, Marvel's, Marvel uh, characters from the comic books and the characters that you see in the movies created by the MCU, he passed away in 95. And a lot of people grew up, you know, with Stan Lee's comic books. They grew up on the movies. All of this was inspired by Stan Lee. And, you know, when, when people's heroes die, they usually go into mourning. And that's what people and fans of, um, of Marvel have, have been doing. But Bill Maher, this guy, first off, I'm not a fan of Bill Maher. I'm really not. He, he's an idiot. I'm going to read to you what he actually said here. Now, this is a direct quote from him. Quote, the guy who created Spider-Man and the Hulk has died, and America is in mourning. Deep, deep mourning for a man who inspired millions to, I don't know, watch a movie, I guess. He goes on, he says, someone on Reddit posted, I'm incredibly grateful to live in a world that included Stan Lee. And Bill Maher um, says back, personally, I'm grateful to live in a world that included oxygen and trees, but to each his own. And he goes on a little bit more, I'm gonna read the rest of this here. But then 20 years ago or so, something happened. Adults decided they didn't have to give up kid stuff. And so they pretended comic books were actually sophisticated literature. And because America has over 4,500 colleges, that means we need more professors. That means we need more professors than we have smart people. Some dumb people got to be professors by writing these with titles like otherness and heterodoxy in the surfer, silver surfer. And now when adults are forced to be grown up, to, to do grown up things like buy auto insurance, they call it adulting and act like it's some giant struggle. Then this is what really bothered me right here. I don't think it's a huge stretch to suggest that Donald Trump could only get elected in a country that thinks comic books are important. Wow. That's Bill Maher. <clears throat> that is classic Bill Maher. Now, if you don't know much about him, he is a comedian. He's also an atheist and he really, really hates religion. So if you have any kind of religious beliefs, don't expect Bill Maher to say any good things about you. This man is a hateful, hateful man. I don't know what, what it is that Stan Lee did to him that he would actually say something like this. Now, he actually said he was grateful to live in a world with oxygen. Now, being an atheist that he is, who is he grateful to? Somebody put that oxygen, oxygen there, so he has to be grateful to somebody. So, I don't know, you tell me. But, I don't know who has made an impact in his life, but to pretty much disrespect the man when he died a week ago, that's just, that's just uncalled for. And fans of Stan Lee are just, they're, they're killing Bill Maher. Now, what got me is why in the world would he bring, bring Trump into this? He says, I don't think it's a huge stress to suggest Donald Trump could only get elected in a country that thinks comic books are important. So basically he's saying that we as Americans, since we, elected Donald Trump, that we're dumb and stupid. Because if we read too many comic books, this is the reason why Donald Trump got elected. No, 
Donald Trump got elected because he beat Hillary Clinton. Simple as that. Your candidate isn't always gonna win, so I just think he just had to throw that in just because he's still upset about the 2016 election like a, a bunch of other idiots. The, the election is over, get over it. Donald Trump has nothing to do with Stanley's comic books. So this is the kind of response that you get from someone, for one that doesn't have, doesn't believe in anything, that is so self-centered, he only cares about himself and you only think inwardly about yourself, this is the kind of response that you get. That's the kind of comments you get. So Stanley, he didn't hurt anybody. He didn't do anything to anybody. And remember this, Bill Maher, eventually one day you're gonna pass away. What do you expect people to actually say about you when you pass away? How do you want to be remembered? Because the way you're talking about the dead right now, you're not gonna be remembered too well. Comic books inspire people. People are inspired by movies too. He gave us something to grow up on. I grew up on Superman with Christopher Reeves. I'm a grown man now. I think like a man, but I still love Christopher Reeves Superman. So just because we grow up, we're supposed to forget our childhood? No, I do not agree with that. Do you guys agree with Bill Maher? Let me know that if you do or if you don't. I just wanna have a civil conversation on this because I extremely disagree with him. I don't like Bill Maher. He is a hateful man. That's all I'm gonna say about this. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me, and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.